Hi, everyone. Hi, I'm JR. I'm so happy to see I your I know, face. it's so nice to see all these friends hey, here. <laughs> How beautiful. Who that? Hi, everyone. Hi, Aniston. Hi, Pitt. How you doing? Good, honey. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm all right. None of you guys have gotten a haircut. <laughs> COVID. <laughs> Well, I see Matthew McConaughey, so that is a good sign. Tag award for her work on The Morning Show. It's Jennifer Aniston. So, Jen, who will you be playing tonight? I will be playing Linda. Okay, all right. Welcome, Brad Pitt. Hello. Woo. Hi, everyone. Brad, what character are you going to be reading? Oddly enough, I will be reading Brad. Brad <laughs> will be reading the character of Brad. <laughs> Came on. I wanted your fries. Brad smiles, walks over to the fryer, and discards the fries left over from the previous ship. He shouts to the other employees as he puts in a new batch. We need 15 superstars, David. Okay, Brad. I'll take care of the fry orders. Just get me the superstars. Fish sandwiches. Brad spots the three surfers sitting at the dining area. None of them are wearing shirts. Hey, you guys. You had shirts on when you came in here. No, yeah, but so that, so, something happened to him. Well, come on, Spicoli. Why don't you just shirt, put your shirt back just, on? Just, just, come on. Just don't, just come on. Just come on. You see the sign? Can you just come on? Are you <laughs> just, just come? Can you just come on? <laughs> All right. All right. Interior Carl Jr. Store Manager Dennis Taylor bustles up to Brad. All right. All right? All right. Any problems? No, nah, just a couple of surfers with no shirts. I took care of it, Dennis. Angle on surface, grumbling, putting shirts back on. It pains them. Interior, mall, late night. Brad pulls into the Ridgemont High parking lot. He drives a beat-up four-door model LTD sedan. Three friends wait for him near his parking space. Hamilton! The cruising vessel. Hey ho! <laughs> Brad climbs out of his car, pats it admiringly. Listen to this. It says most women derive pleasure from sex, but they don't have real orgasms. They obviously don't know Doug. How long does Doug take? I don't, I don't know. 30, 40 minutes. Hey, Linda. Take a dive. I'll judge it. You know, I'm a champion diver myself. Brad arrives home by the side gate, slams it behind him. He's home from a bad day at work, walks out onto the patio, stands with his hands on his hips. For the first time, our former campus hero looks absurd. He's still in his uniform from Captain Kidd Fish and Chips. It is a blue and white striped <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean outfit, complete with black plastic sword at the side and a ridiculously large Ponce de Leon-esque hat. Brad carries the hat under his arm. Does mom know you have company? It's just Linda and Mark from school. Hi, Linda. Hi, Brad. Well, you guys keep it down. I've got some work to do upstairs. God, he hardly even talks anymore. I know. He hates to have to wear a uniform. Ah, poor guy. Angle on Linda, who is now sunning herself by the side of the pool. She rubs her legs against each other slowly, enjoying the hot afternoon. Oh, Stace, I've got water in my ears. Do you guys have Q-tips? God, I don't think so. Better look in the house. Linda towels off, heads back inside the Hamilton house. She knows how to walk. We see Brad. He's kneeling on the bathroom floor, his back to us. His green t-shirt is on, his underwear in a pile on the floor behind him. His arm is pumping slowly. Brad is jacking off. Dissolve to exterior Hamilton pool, Brad's daydream. It features Linda Barrett just as she stood on the diving board a moment ago. She is gorgeous. Her breasts seem even bigger than usual. Her nipples are hard, poking through the film maroon string bikini. Water rolls slowly down her cheeks into the corners of her mouth. Her lips are parted slightly. Her eyes are filled with desire as she says, Hi, Brad. You know how cute I always thought you were. I think you're so sexy. Will you come to me? Angle on Brad in Daydream, in a nice shirt, his hair combed back and looking great. He walks to Linda. She reaches out and grabs him for a kiss, pulling him close. Then she pushes him away so he can watch as she carefully unstraps 
the top of her bathing suit. The incredible Linda Barrett's breasts fall loose. Lord have mercy. She <laughs> takes Brad's hands and places them on her as she begins unbuttoning his shirt. They are just about to fall into passionate love making when we hear, Hey, hey Brad, do you have any cute? The daydream evaporates and we see a real life again with an interior Brad's bathroom angle on Linda's face. In the doorway of Brad's bathroom as she watches the sight before her, angle on Brad trying to cover himself and act nonchalant and keep his back turned at the same time. The words barely escape his mouth. Wait just a, a minute. Oh God, I'm so sorry. I, I did not know anybody was in here. Linda turns, goes immediately as if she wants to forget what she just saw as quickly as possible. She closes the door behind her. Doesn't anybody fucking knock anymore? Ed Hamilton looks terribly uncomfortable in his Ponce de Leon hat and Buccaneer uniform, he rings up an order for an older customer. Hamilton, I'll take over the fryer. Those uh, boys at IBM need some catch of the day boxes and I told them you would personally deliver them within the hour. I'll reimburse you for gas. Brad thoughtfully unhooks his apron to reveal the bottom half of his pirate suit. Just write me out a bill. While Harold leans down to tally up the fish order, Brad goes to a nearby employee's closet. He has completely perfected the art of changing back into his street clothes and it takes less than a minute. He is just about to finish buttoning his street shirt when Harold sees him. Hamilton, come over here. What is that you've got on? This is how I dress all the time. But you took off your Captain Kidd uniform. I thought I'd take it off for the drive over to IBM. It's kind of uncomfortable. Harold can barely fathom the idea. Come on, Hamilton. You're going over there to represent Captain Kidd Fish and Chips. We have stores all over Southern California. Part of our appeal is in our uniforms. You know that. You really want me to put all this stuff back on? Yes, I think so. Show some pride, Hamilton. I don't believe you're asking me to do this, but okay. He begins taking off his street shirt, looks at Harold, looks at the boxes, and returns to the closet. Interior, the cruising vessel. Brad's driving down the freeway, listening to the music of Bruce Springsteen's Out in the Streets. He pries open one of the 14 catch of the day boxes on the seat next to him and pulls out a small piece of fried fish. Brad takes a bite. The look on his face says it is the worst piece of shit he's ever tasted. He throws the piece out the window and drives on. Brad turns to see a girl smiling at him from another car. It makes his afternoon. He returns the smile with gusto. Angle on the girl as she bursts out laughing and drives away. Angle on Brad looking perplexed. Then he realizes that he hasn't taken his Ponce de Leon hat off. Brad drives on. Series of angles on Brad's car. As we see the cruising vessel move down the highway, we see the Captain Kidd hat go flying out the window, then the plastic sword and the scarf. Exterior, school bus, day. 